Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm excited to hopefully get some of this stuff done. We're going to get science. It's the next thing on our plate to put down. Um, I guess mining productivity is still a good thing. Lab research speed is also a very good thing. Uh, I would be happy to get that going. Um, let's start off with just extending the bus. Uh, oh, we need this also on the bus. I don't know if we'll need coal. I don't think we will, but let's just uh, leave it as it is then. Okay. Okay, there are cliffs here that need exploding. Do we have any cliff explosives left? Yes, we do. We have a few. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's take these over. I really shouldn't be placing these down in uh, yellow belts anymore, I don't think. What do we got going on over here? We got some... Ah, it's okay. Biter stuff going on. Oh, all right. We need to fix this a little bit. Seems to be a hot spot for biter activity. Uh, okay. He's there. There's still a bunch milling out here. That's just kind of scary. It's like, why? What's the deal with that? Wow, looks like these these guys are getting killed further back, and I bet that's probably because of the laser damage uh, that we've been improving with research. I think they're just getting killed farther out because the lasers are stronger. Um, and so that is kind of a hard thing. Um, but we so we need to extend these guys back. Now I have been told, uh, and thank you very much, Peps, for this, uh, that. Uh, the <laughs> the vanilla stuff may not be strong enough to kill the worst biters. That's a little bit scary, I have to say. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to get that sorted. Get that going there. So we may have to add a mod to be able to kill stuff, but we'll see. We will we will try our best. It all depends on if lasers are electric or not, because some of the biters have in this mod, they do have electric, um, full electric resistance, but we've been speculating that that is something that is like uh, the personal laser defense rather than other stuff. So we will just have to see if I need to add the mod. If we if we're suffering, we, I will definitely add that mod um, at, at the moment. Uh, oh, we got our electric furnaces, right? How many of these? Uh, uh, we don't have many modules, do we? How many do we have? We have five. That's not a lot. Well, all right, let's get uh, more lab research speed. Let's go quickly up this way. I don't know. Do I need more assemblers? I have 67. That should be enough. It's plenty for now. Uh, I might need more bag space, though. And here we could... we t Well, we need to get rid of these guys because they're too small right now. Okay, take these off. Actually, what we could do is just do one side at a time. Um, kind of increase one side at a time here. Like this. Wow, there is no solid fuel on this line. That is not good. That is really not good. Why is there no solid fuel? Is that just because we've been... Probably. In any case, it does need to be fixed. That That is a bad thing to happen. Need that to get sorted. Let's grab all of these guys. I didn't bring the furnaces, did I? Well, that's not good. So I think I think we probably need to have a minimal amount of solid fuel coming on the line. Um, let's go and grab those furnaces because I think we set them up last time. There they are. We have uh, 19. That's more than enough. Okay, so guys, how you doing? We are really lacking right now. Oh, we didn't even set this up, did we? We did not. Oh, that's a fairly big mistake there. I can't believe I didn't do that. How much petrol? We actually have full petroleum at the moment. Uh, let's connect this up to the power pole here and say if um, fuel light oil is greater than 
uh, how much? Like 20,000? Then we want you to be able to make the solid fuel. You know, I really want to do an ore condition with that. I want to say if... If there's not enough fuel on the line here, that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an ore condition. Um, let's go ahead and connect this to the belt right here. And I want to say if there's, we're going to read the belt contents and we're going to, I think it's hold, not pulse. Okay. So we're going to do hold and let me see how far I can stretch this line here. This, oh, that's perfect. I think that's going to be good. Let's go and take this signal this way all the way here. All right. And this is scanning for solid fuel. Um, and what we want to say to this is this is also getting the scan. I think, yes, it is. All right. So we want to have a decider combinator here. We want to have two, uh, deciders, one, two, let's go and place those down next to it. I don't think I've ever had done this before. But this is kind of cool. So we're going to detach it from the power pole, but we're going to put it that detach these guys instead. And then the decision is going to be um, attached to the pump. So we're going to say if light oil is greater than 20,000, set output one different square. I guess we could go with red squares or purple squares. Pink ones? I don't know. People told me that they get confused between the blue and cyan. And I think it's weird to have both of those. Um, let's go with yellow squares. I like yellow today. Um, but not more than I like orange today, just in case anyone was wondering. All right, I'm putting one yellow square. And if solid fuel on the belt is less than, say, four, output one yellow square. And if yellow squares greater than one, uh, greater than zero, then we need to make solid fuel. So if there's less uh, solid, less light oil, and there's not enough of these, uh, these guys, then it'll still work. Uh, though, are these, how are these doing? They're doing okay. But there may not be enough to, to keep going on that. <sighs> Um, I also want to make a similar thing on the other side. Is this, is this or anything dangerous happening? Anything bad? Not, not particularly bad, I guess. Not bad enough. All right. It's okay. I want to make a couple more pumps. Well, I think I need to pick up some more engines from the factory. Um, okay. So we're going to get this one to go here. Go there. One, two up. And of course this is going to be the pump for that. And I can actually copy these uh, these guys here. Put them there. I just need to make a couple of them. There we go. Okay, and get these hooked up to the power pole, and then these hooked up to the decision. So this one is going to be if petroleum. Where is it? greater than 20k then we can do this and if these guys hmm, less than four then we can also put them on there okay this one needs a little bit of there oh right that's where our pump went aha i was kind of wondering what that was like hmm where did that thing go how, how many are we getting on here we're getting three okay i think if it's this one if it's less then say two, we'll, we'll use the petroleum for that. Otherwise we really don't want to. It is looking like two, three, uh, generally two, one. Okay. And that will, will start this. My hope is that the whole thing will back up again, but it seems like we've had no, uh, fueling for quite a while. So we need to get some of that done for sure. Okay. We have very little heavy oil. Uh, the light oil is coming out. Wow, we are running out of light oil. Hello. That's not ideal. Okay, take these guys up. All right, and that's how much we have. All right, so we are actually running out of petroleum here. Oh, this heavy oil is unhappy. 
Is there something going on here? Let's just get rid of the trees here. Is this not connected? It is not connected. This is, yeah, all right. This had a little accident when we were getting things misorganized there. So all of these guys have not been running. All right, so looks like, yeah, we're just way full on petroleum gas. Okay, so these are, they should be working, right? Oh, we didn't set the condition for the pump. Silly me. All right, let's go and do that then. Okay, so these guys are going to work under the condition of too much petroleum. All right, that works. <laughs> At least we averted that crisis. That's quite useful. Let's get the pick stick. Oh, we can't. Um, laser turret shooting speed. Yeah, we'll take that. It's going to push them even further out, but that's all right. It's quite kind of a nice color of purple there. Nice shade. Oh, and our iron is getting so sparse. Horribly, horribly sparse. Man. I should really pick up a couple other refineries to get that other stuff going. Now, <laughs> we've come back. Yay. Um, I guess we just start on this and, and get it going and see what we can make. Um, the output belt is this one, I believe. So let's just get this one. Uh, well, we don't even need that direction. We just need to get uh, this one deleted. And then the one before it also deleted because we don't need this at all. Not at all. And we'll take this up in just a moment. But first, I'm going to connect all the things. We need to connect all the things first thing. And um, so this is going to be red and green circuits. Oopsies. There we go. Nope, nope. Come on, brain. Rotate, not three. There we go. Much better. Okay, and reverse that and get our red circuits over here. Hmm. Nope. Actually over there. I think. Oopsies. I'm missing key presses, pardon me. This one needs to go there, of course. Of course it needs to go there. Yeah, it's it's fine. I think my keyboard must be slightly misaligned from my my whole person or something because it feels very strange at the moment uh okay take these all right and boom nice we have red circuits on that line it's going to take forever to get this stuff made but we're going to do our best we don't have any blue circuits and you know what i do did we actually put batteries on the bus we did not wow okay that's um <clears throat> three reverse that one goodness me Okay, there we are. I need to, maybe I just need to sit differently. That'll help. Okay. Um, get these things ready to go. Yeah, this will work. This I think will work very nicely indeed. We'll go ahead and do that and uh, <clears throat> reverse the belt because <laughs> I seem to have put it the wrong way. All right. Um, ah, we need one more. Ah, just do it this way take this out and have this go this way um is that too many no that's four that's perfect four is fine though at this point we don't even need to follow the fours rule um should be okay okay all right so we need to get stuff where were those batteries batteries and blue circuits are going to be on this line um feel like I should grab some of this stuff like this just to have this nice little thing here for all the things we need to put on this line just a little bit of help here this is iron so we don't need that here we go with this here we go with this one and that one and then we'll be able to get them all together nicely Okay, we'll get this iron real quick. That's an easy, easy win. Preserving a little bit of the path, at least. Okay, very nice. Laser turret shooting speed. So, um, by the way, I'm using the blueprints for uh, 
previous science things that I've made, I know a couple of people were mentioning this, but I just don't want to recalculate the, the ratios at this point. 0 0.16 has not changed. So it's, yeah, we, we're just going to use this for um, that purpose. However, I am anxious to see if 0 0.17 will make any changes for us um, because that could be a lot of fun, actually. I love coming up with new blueprints. So that is uh, something I'm looking forward to. Now then, um, let's just take a big chunk off of these. Don't need that much room technically, but it's fine. Oh, no, 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 please. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. I'll have to grab some of those. <laughs> I think, uh, I can let these guys grab them. Maybe, I don't know. They'll grab some of them, I think, from the first part of the belt. Now then, uh, the next thing that we need to do is, let's see, we have green circuits and steel. Ah, there we go. Got to remember to put those right, the correct things in there. That was very, very silly of me. We have some more things going on. That should be fine, though. Put this one here. Okay, there's our steel and green circuits. Now we need bricks and red circuits. That's an interesting combo. That one could go there. Oh, bricks first though. Gotta get our bricks first. Here we go with the red circuits. Okay, that's one lane done and then steel. So this one... Okay, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, fingers. <laughs> okay, steel. All right, we have something going. I think we're going to have purple science. I think this is purple science. Ah, except for the fact we don't have any lubricant. All right, we need to bring those pipes down. Uh, laser turret shooting speed. All right, what else can we get? Gun turret damage. Nope. Do we have laser damage somewhere? Effect transmission. Ah, uh, we need we need gold science for those. Oh, all right, let's get this. That's a nice thing to have. Um... I think we can grab these pipes and then put them maybe we could even do them next to each other uh there's no harm in that at all and this one is going to be for lubricant of course okay gotta watch those guys all right keep on going i think i'll just do the single thingamajingy here. All right, and here we are. On this all the way back to oil. I'm going to leave those guys. Oh, wow, this is in the middle of oil. Hello. It's not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> Okay, I, I failed to notice that it actually comes from up here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of important to, to notice that. Let's see, what do we got? Electric energy distribution is done. Um, could go with, like, the modules. Let's go with a uh, random one of these. We do need some for power armor. So that's something that's going to be important to us in a minute. Okay. I always like to do those corners because otherwise I forget. This is going to go. All right, let's take, make sure that we have lube going all the way down. Ah, already we have issues. There we go. Red and green. Excellent. We all are going to need to take down the sulfuric acid also for the batteries. 
Uh, not for the battery charge, uh, for the blue circuits is what I meant to say. Okay, great. Let's get this connected then. Oh, it's already uh, has a little thingy. Good. Get our engines going. Oh, this is exciting. All the things are happening. Most excellent. So this is a bit crazy that we're getting so little iron out here. Wow. This is just really bad. Oh, man. All right. We're just going to have to use these guys. Uh, output priority to the left. Paste, paste. There it's going to go. We have one coming here. And then the one at the bottom. I guess I just need to do that there then. Let's go down here. Grab these. One, two, three. Okay, we're getting something. Uh, we're going to get the remnants first of all, but hopefully it's going to be good enough. Uh, we have some pipe bait already. Ah, we're getting electric engines. Perfect. Ooh, our first purple science. Yay. All right. I'm going to go with this and kind of just keep going along here until we get to our science thingy-majingies. All right. Get rid of these. Thank goodness we no longer need most of those things. Actually, was that three? It was three. All right, we'll put it back. We shall put this radar back, if I can find it. Uh-huh. It might have disappeared to places unknown. <laughs> Did I use them all up? No, I didn't. I have 265 of them. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go back here, and we will put this into into somewhere wait there's there's things going on here how do we do this this one needs to go like that okay so this goes this way and then the other one can sneak in from the side that's the idea all right and we have purple science boom uh right with that i'm gonna absolutely get automation three uh definitely definitely what do we got going on here in uh, module land? All right, we have 11 modules. That is good. I want to get those. I think we'll get the furnaces placed down uh, since we started that project. Seems like 10 years ago and we only are thinking about it now. Why did I not place these down? What the heck was I thinking? Oh, it's just so silly. Uh, all right, we get take these off because we don't need them in those intervals. The electric furnaces are quite a bit bigger. So put one here. We'll just put them all like this. Uh, and actually, I can close off this side. Uh, I kind of want all of these modules to be here uh, as much as possible. Oopsies. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut this off right here. Nothing else can go past. All right. I want to get some power. There we go. Nice. All right, so is this going to be fast enough, though? It does have a plus 42% crafting speed, which is very comforting, I have to say. And they are definitely generating more ore. More plates, I should say. Not more ore. Okay, I'll see how much this backs the belt up. But in other... In other news, we can just keep on uh, getting these to go for, for more modules. Oh, 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 I forgot to add something cool. Well, first of all, I want to reduce, just get those placed out in the world. And then put the ore into this box. There we go. That can feed on. Now, if it gets too backed up, we will add more furnaces. But I think that should be enough uh, for now. Well, relatively enough. Okay, let's see how things are progressing. Automation 3 is well on its way to being done. Life is now better. You guys, 
are still missing plates, right? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I think, yeah, we're just not getting any plates. It's very, very sad times. We need to fix the green circuit problem. Uh, and that is only going to be fixed with more copper and more iron, I think. How is this going? This seems to be okay. All right, these are going all right. And we need blue circuits to get gold science. Do we have blue circuits? Can we make them? T. They're called processing units in uh, in the real world, maybe. Yeah, we have them right there with advanced electronics. We can make a, a nice little uh, thing here for that. What do we want? Let's just check on the base here real quick. This is looking okay. A lot of stuff damaged. Yep, yippers, yippers. We could, oh, I'd love to get all this lovely, lovely, lovely items on ground there. There's a lot of items on ground that we're not getting yet. I need to go have like a tour of the base and just take stuff back with me so that we can get all the plates smelted and all the stuff's happening. Let's check on power also really quickly. Power is looking very much okay. We have a very, very nice ability to generate power. Very good. All right. Cliff explosives. Do we have any? Four. We have four. Is that enough? Maybe. Oh, yes. Carefully aimed. There we go. Uh, the next things are going to be blue circuits. We need, huh, we need stuff we don't have for this. We need two belts. One of them is going to be full green circuits. One is half green, half red. I'm going to make my favorite array for this. I do have a particular one that I enjoy using. Oopsie, not that way. Thank you. All right, blue circuits. Where are they? There we go. Copy paste. And we'll put our power poles in the middle. We actually need stack inserters for those, but we can do this as well. And then we need our output. It's going to be on this belt here. I'm hoping soon that we can really get to a higher module level, you know, so that it eventually will have a hundred percent productivity. That is going to make all the difference in the world. Okay. All right. Nice. We have sulfuric acid. All we need to do is connect up the stuff. Okay. Come on. Nope. Nope. There we are. So we'll take this one. The top one is going to be for reds, only, reds and greens, but I think we really just need to get these greens out here. Um, this one's going to take all the greens anyway. So I think we can just take reds, a half a red thing on the top. Uh, whoops. That's not quite what I wanted to do. There we are. That's what we wanted. Okay. Excellent. So that's going to go right there. And we'll be able to start making these guys. Oh, this is exciting. Getting blue circuits. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, oh, we ran out of undergrounds. Okay. Look at the iron. Oh, the sadness in iron. Oh, my goodness. That is just pitiful. It really is very pitiful. We're going to have to have an expedition, guys. We're going to have to go there and get stuff. There's Oh, the biters are dead. That's good, at least. That is very good. But this is 8.7 million iron just waiting for us. Or we could go here that has 10 million. Um, this is more convenient, I think, for a train just to go back and forth, like a, a quick train. A little express for iron. <laughs> I don't know if that could even be said to be true. But anyway, it is... And it's very close to biter nests. I really feel like I'm I'm wondering if we need to just like, get some kind of military science going on here. What do we have available to us? We've got grenades. We've got 
energy shields. We have military three. We can have a combat shotgun, though I don't think that's very good. We could get the tank, though. Could really get the tank. I want that automation three, though. We really need that. Go check on uh, modules again. There's plenty of stuff on there. I don't know why they're not producing as fast as possible. Just one. Wow. All right, we have um, yeah, 420 alien plates. I'm going to go ahead and turn these guys, and we're going to get our very first uh, Assembler 3. Of course, I should have set these guys up, which I didn't do. These are going to be first speed module here. So those guys can go ahead and start up. No, no, not this one. That That's not that one. It's going to be this one. This is going to be Assemblers 3. And I think it needs four. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it needs four speed modules and two assembling machines, two. Do we have robots at all? We have some storage chests, some passive providers. I guess we can get those made. Uh, where do they belong? I guess I should replop the entire blueprint over. Are this going to be assemblers? Three. Oh, thank goodness. This is going to be great. Okay. So press T. There we go. Logistics three. Blue belts. What do we need? What do we need? More speed modules, huh? They're working on it. They're going. They're quick. There we go. Very nice. Just one more. Very, very close. And I know exactly where I want to put this very first assembler. Come on. Make it. We just need it. Wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, take that one. And go right back down here. We're going to put it in the module maker. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. We are putting it here. There it is. And module there. In fact, I'm going to take out one of these modules and shove it in there. Oh, okay, we have another one. But now look at this. Look what we have, 84% plus 84% productivity. This is fantastic. So <laughs> we nearly get two with every craft, like probably two with every three crafts or something like this. This is great. All right. Uh, we have kind of gotten to a good end point. I think uh, there's still many, many things to do. We need to get these blues going on that's another good place for modules by the way in fact i'll put one in here um but anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time